Okay, and we're back after quite a little bit with the Pokemon Omega Ruby Hardcore Nuzlocke. I was checking the times, and it's been a month and and a half since we first defeated uh, Battle Chatelain uh, Nita. Uh, in this past month and a half, I have spent about a hundred hours, a hundred in-game hours. Uh, breeding and getting my Pokemon to perfect tip-top shape I re I quickly realized after getting my 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 rear end handed to me a lot a lot of times that my on um, not perfect Pokemon without perfect IVs and perfect EVs just couldn't quite cut it in the battle mace on uh, only certain Pokemon can really um, win at a high level in the Battle Mason, Pokemon including um, uh, Gliscor and uh, Suicune, right? Perfect Suicune, kind of perfect. Um, I'm gonna put him here real quick. The team that I have been using, right, um, is comprised of a, to a, a perfect IV's Toxic Corb. Gliscor, a perfect IV's Mega Kangaskhan, and a a combine it's called Icy Wind Rest Suicune. Uh, the team is in the description, but it's not mine. Jumpman 16, one of the most well-known um, Pokemon trainer, I guess, in the internet, who has achieved a world record in the Pokemon plot in the Pokemon Platinum Battle Tower has very so kindly and generously generously shared his team on the smoke smoke forums for the battle tower for the battle mason sorry and I decided to go with the team that the best player of in of any the, that what I consider the best player of battle facilities in Pokemon made so I went with it and Boy, was it amazing to just sweep through those 49 battles against legendaries and hacks in, in just one shot. I did that yesterday night. It was a lot of fun to win uh, and not having to rely on, on you know, strategies that I knew that the events I were not really working. Uh, I tried to approach the Battle Mason at first with a teammate of uh, Latios with a different moveset. Disregard this with a Heatran uh, with this moveset, uh, uh, with a Mega Salamence with this moveset, and even a Starmie that I don't quite know where it's, where it's at right now. All of this just to defeat Nita, right? Who is basically the, the roadblock between me and defeating Wally, who is the end of the Nuzlocke. Remember, this is still a Nuzlocke, right? Um, I, eventually, I reached her, right? Um, and I was able to put together a team that perfectly counters hers. So we're gonna go ahead today and defeat Nita and finally unlock uh, Super Boss Wally. And taking one more step, being closer to the finishing of this challenge. And I'm very excited about that. So. I don't have any notes with me, really. Uh, I guess I have them here on my computer. Which I got, I recently got back. So, you can't really see it, but but that's that's her team. She's got a Tornadoes, Thunders, and a Landers with, do, with those items and those move pools. Those are, those are the base stats of our Pokemon. And those are my counters, right? My counters are totally, totally, Perfect, tailored just to defeat her team. So we're gonna go ahead and see how my team, my team fares against her team. Okay, keeping that in the background, I guess you can. I guess uh, it's it's cool. All right, obviously the trainer cap is back, um, and again this is part of the kind of the secondary part of the well the glare is too hard. So put this here. Um, we have Winston, the, the Aegislash, with the Persian Berry attached to it because this is going to be our 
Tornadoes counter. Tornadoes has substitute, double team, hurricane, and focus blast, and it, and it holds a Yachi Berry. Um, focus blast is obviously an effective against a ghost type Pokemon. Hurricane is not very effective against a steel type Pokemon. Aegislash fits both. Um, and it, it hits really hard with Shadow Ball because it has uh, 252 in special attack and a quiet nature. Doesn't have perfect IV in any of its stats, but since it's such an easy matchup for him, I really didn't feel like even bothering trying to get him even one perfect stat anyway. But it's not going to be necessary. Shadows Nick King's Shield and Substitute are just great moves to have in case I need him for the other ones, for the other genies. But turn, but most, 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 most likely than not, he's just gonna be fighting against Tornadoes and call it a day. Then we have uh, Victorious the Glide Score. I call him like that because I'm gonna show you my box and you. Yeah, it just took me over 220 Gligers to get this 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 perfect Glide Score finally. So this is the the Thunderous counter, right? Um, this is the same Gliscord that Jumpman 16 uses, only I, I put Rock Tomb over Earthquake just for this fight so that I can total, uh, completely shut off the Thunders, which has Wild Charge, Sky Drop, U-Turn, and Crunch. And it wields a Citrus Berry, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so Gliscor resists uh, two, uh, three out of those moves. Skydrop is not even effective against it because it's a flying type and Crunch doesn't do it nearly enough. So Rock Tomb is just gonna, you know, take it out. And this is the Landorus counter. It resists every single one of its moves and it's immune to Earth power. It's got Ice Beam, which is four times super effective. It's gonna be even faster because it has the Choice Carf. Choice Carf. Landorus also has a choice card, but I'm still faster. Thunder Wave is there just in case I need to like paralyze tornadoes for some reason, and Safeguard is there just if I need to avoid. Uh, it's a good move to shut off a lot of the secondary effects that its team has, such as the um, what well, really only one, only one effect, only one secondary effect, which is the confusion from Hurricane. But I just thought I will put it there because I don't have. Like no other move, no other move does its job here anyway. And Dragon Pulse is there because uh, I don't want to waste a hard scale to reteach it to it. But enough bab babbling. Let's just get, let's just get, uh, let's just get down to it. And uh, yeah, let's battle. Okay. Your current record uh, stands at 49 straight wins. Let's do this, guys. After three months. Okay. Let me put that. All right. Wait. Oh, whoops. All right. I decided I wasn't going to give nicknames to the battle. To the battle facility Pokemon, but eventually I, I went ahead and gave them, and gave them my favorite nicknames for their Pokemon for those Pokemon. Now there she is, the elusive Battle Shuttle Anita. I actually found out while researching for the Battle Mason that the triple battles are the easiest, but I st I decided to stick with the singles. Hi, how are you? I'm Nita. I don't want to voice act anymore. Oh, how, how I've missed you, champion. The strongest train in all of Ho, and is it then? At last I can go all out. So let's get cracking on it. Prepare yourself. Okay. I did... I... I didn't turn on battle animations, did I? Yesterday, I even reminded myself a million of times to do so. <clears throat> okay. So, um, yeah, keeping that battle 
keeping the um, Emerald Battle Frontier theme alive. So Tornadoes. What is it gonna go for? Let's start on the offensive. Hurricane? Oh, okay, that was a crit, but... And I got confused, but thanks to the person where I snap out of it. And I can just retaliate with a very strong Shadow Ball. That does half damage, it's not bad. I'm making a shield here, so that I can go back to my defensive form. Double team, okay. And a double team. Let's see if I hit through the... I do, awesome. And that's Tornadoes down. Fantastic. And Landers is back in, back in the field again. That's King's Shield. Obviously, it's very funny how... You know, the hard part of the Battle Mason really is getting to Nita. Because once, you, once you're here to, to battle her, and I think this applies to the other battle chatelains as well. It's extremely easy to to win against them because you can just you know build a whole counter team to take them out, like this one that I have. Okay, she's gonna go into thunders now. She's the only, by the way, she's the only trainer in the battle mace one that even switches. So thunders goes down to the to one ice beam. Uh, Taking out all of Black Score Scream time. And another Ice Beam. He's gonna call it game. <sighs> Finally, after a month. After a month and a half, we did this. 50 battle points so that we can buy an ability capsule. Okay, that's cool. Okay. No, that's it. Take a break. Yes. I do not fancy try to trying to get to 3,000 wins like Jumpman 16. Although I, I, wow, look at that. Alex, this monument was built to commemorate you, wasn't it? That's amazing. You really are Hoenn's top trainer, Alex. How naive you are. Uh, you are. There's no end for battles in the battle mason. Unknown strong trainers like us keep battling, hoping to achieve 100 or even 200 consecutive wins. Damn many? A battle is like a house of cards. It's like a Midsummer Night's Dream. Records will be broken sooner or later. All we can do is train hard every day. I see. Well, I'm going to excuse myself now. You too, try hard. So there are still Pokemon. Uh. Wow, I feel like trying hard and seeing that. I'm sure I can still become stronger. I'll see you later then, Alex. I'm going off to train some more. Yeah, you're gonna become mega, 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 mega powerful. Let's take a look at this little. It's a mom. Uh. I mean, it looks okay. I cannot get next to it. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, so let's go out. Let's go back inside so that we can proc Wally's level 64 rematches, which obviously are much much easier than than its final than its final team. Um, I really didn't think this through when I was planning out the whole uh, boss uh, boss list of this game that. I needed to basically keep my Pokemon below 64 so that I could have a fair fight with him. So basically the third, the 
find a, fight number three with him is gonna be uh, totally unfair. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna record it really. I'm just gonna defeat him and then get to the super boss fight. But I'm finally glad to uh, call call it quits on this on this Nuzlocke run so that we can focus on something else. All right, all right, moving on.